What's happening, y'all? It is 8.30 in the morning. I have to drop a little one off at school, and then we're gonna go up to the stores. Do you remember from a video ago, the Stussy pair of pants? We have a huge problem with them, and I'm gonna show you what that is after we go sourcing. Let's get moving. I'm gonna be doing the Lululemon giveaway in the next video. I'll choose a winner for that. And big shout out and big thank you to everybody that has suggested podcasts that they are currently enjoying. I went through some of the comments last night and lined a bunch of them up on my computer. So I'll be listening to those and keep them coming for those of you that um, have yet to, if you have a podcast that you're really enjoying. So thanks again for that. All right, let's smash these racks. Some more Patagonia for you. Kathleen, base layer. I think this is women's. The tag was different, not a tag I'm used to seeing on the bottom. And so I can't read it very well because it's got this little, can you see that? So it says cut 8943 and then the style four, I think that says 4427, made in the USA. So this might be an older style because that to me seems like an older tag. Kathleen base layers from Patagonia. They surprise me because a lot of them will sell for, you know, $20, maybe even less, but there's base layers that I've sold for $35, $40. So still a very strong style. As for this one specifically, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna price it. Looks like to me $25 to $30. I think it's gonna cost $4.99, but it is Patagonia. You know how that goes. My jaw hit the floor a little bit when I saw this on Amazon, this or they have it listed for $350. And then I went into Google and I saw it listed on another website for a hundred brand new. I don't know that I'm gonna pick it up though. It's only $8. There's a chip at the bottom. Let me show you this right chip at the bottom right here and then this one is like a little bit of a longer version so the company that manufactures these makes four of these longer ones and then um, a few of these ones that are slightly shorter so you know a maritime or got some scratches in the back here's the logo if you can see that I don't know if my camera is zooming in I'm using a new phone so bear with me but at eight bucks that's not a bad price maybe i could list it for 50 but without seeing any real good solds at least in the last 90 days i'm not gonna i'm not gonna test it you know maybe I, if i looked at therapy i would see something different that one is seven and that one is eight i'm just gonna leave them behind not my wheelhouse and i don't see enough to push me over the edge i'm not even gonna bother looking this up twenty dollars lamp let's assume it works and then it's got a really cool graveyard shade to it what brand is this dwk corporation this is coming home with me as for how i'm going to price it i don't i have no idea at 20 dollars, i would be comfortable with 80 unless you know the sold comparables are in the 50 dollar range then i have to adjust it a little bit but this is pretty spectacular and the lamp shade looks like it's in decent shape we've got a little bit of a it looks like a crack on the inside but not on the outside so i would photograph that and just make sure that you know the buyers see that before they make their purchase decisions this is awesome look at this thing switch right here put a bulb in it make sure it works like a zombie lamp great looking piece right here yeah this one's mine this pair of ons needs to be washed and they have a, a little bit of wear but you know even though I can, if you guys are doing something different than me, let me know in the comments because uh, I can't seem to sell on for a premium price. But in my defense, I think the last three or four pairs have been sort of like this where there's a little bit of wear, but these are definitely still usable. They've got life left in them and they have very clean insoles. So I'll throw them in the wash, but without looking, these are these are on cloud runners. Um, let's see what size they are. Uh, so they're a women's size eight. I'm going to say $25 to $30 for these. I don't know what these retail for. In between $130 and $170 is going to be my guess, but um, I can't get a premium price on them. I like to at least list on the high end, but again, with the wear right here on the toes, I think these are only going to be good for $25 to $30. And then I think I'm going to grab these Under Armour. I think these are Under Armour Phantoms. Let me look at the... Under Armour Phantoms, I think the, and I don't pick up a ton of Under Armour shoes, so I need to do that a little bit more, but these soles look a lot better. There's a, just a teeny bit of wear on the outside heel here and on the other shoe as well, 
but for most part, this sole is intact. So I think these will probably be good for 40, maybe $50 as well. I see them selling brand new for a hundred on eBay. So let's grab the Phantoms. Let's grab the Ons. This style of Nike doesn't do well for me. Let me see what else we're working with here. Oh, lots of these generic shoes turning up. Must have been like a big donation from the Walmarts of the world. See the Avia, another pair of those Athletics, another pair right here. So there's three in a row. Must have been, you know, like a, not a Target, or like a Target or a Walmart donation. What else do we have? Tread safe, those look like worker shoes. These could be nice, cropped and barrel. Probably gonna pass on those too. Yeah, I don't see anything else on this bunch of racks. All right, let's keep moving. This might be good for about $20, maybe 25 at only $4. My Little Pony Butterscotch, this looks like a, so it says 35th anniversary, 1983 collection, even though it's a remake, but and there's, I scanning the barcode, there was like 10 or 15 of these listed, but I think I can still get 20 out of this. Box looks like it's in pretty good condition, so I think I'm gonna grab that out of the toy section here. Let's see what else we've got. This is a, this looks like a baby shark toy of some sort. Nothing I can use there. Okay. Um, flat, what is this? Flat Leets, Evan Spencer. I've never seen this before, I don't know what that is. Looks like the box is open a little bit. Maybe I'll scan that one here when we're done. Yeah, some vintage Poppin' Pals, Sesame Street. It's another thing I might look up also. There's some interesting things going on here today. Some stuff I've never seen. Puddle Jumper, there's a lot here to look up. I might look this up. I'm definitely gonna grab the My Little Pony. And this looks like this is new. Crystal growing experiment. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at some of that stuff down there. All right, well, color me disappointed. There's a Cuisinart inside this Brim coffee maker box. So that's a bummer, but I might grab this. I've never seen this brand before. Nyx Play, I think this is what, a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth mirror, or not mirror, a um, frame of some sort, like a digital frame, but it looks like these sell pretty well. And so I think for this model, I am gonna list it between 30 and $40 at five bucks, a new to me brand. It's pretty exciting. So I'll snatch this little fella up. As for the rest of this, there's carts on carts on carts. And I've picked up a lot of this stuff already, but I just don't think that there's anything here that I can make work. I like the Rubbermaid garden variety color scheme here on all of these pictures. But other than that, there's not much here going on. Some fancy looking plate right there. Hagrid, looked him up. He's like 10, 11 bucks. Not a ton here. No money on this sewing machine. There's a couple of them out here today, but a day where there's just a, a ton of stuff to look at, but nothing that I can really identify that's got any value. So let's go with next play. Okay, I totally lied. We have a Bose Wave Radio. This is a Bose Music System 4. Honestly, this doesn't even look like it was ever used. And I'm looking for any type of mark on the bottom. It looks brand new. I'm probably still gonna list it pre only want $30 for it. But look at those comparable sold prices. One sold for $450. They're regularly selling in the 300s. I mean, if I've got the one I think I have, this is gonna be a $400 radio. Let's hope and pray that this little fella works because I will be elated. So let's put that in the cart and it might be time to get out of here and call that a big win, right? I don't think there's enough room in this store right now to push anything out of the back. So I'm gonna run with it. $400 Bose radio, man. That's amazing. All right, let's get out of here. Remember these pants from the bins video, Stussy. They are counterfeit. And you might be surprised. I was initially surprised and I wasn't surprised at who was doing the counterfeiting. Take a look. It's this brand right here. And I've mentioned 
them before and how much I dislike this brand, Shein. There is no legal agreement between Stussy and Shein. These are counterfeit. And in fact, this company is suing this company for trademark infringement, copyright infringement, but these are absolutely fake. Again, no legal agreement in place. And so for me, these have to go in the garbage. These can't be sold. But it does not surprise me that Shein is stealing um, from this company. They've done it to Doc Martens. They've done it to other companies. I mean, there's, there's a lot of companies that they have basically stolen from. But th these are counterfeit goods right here from a company that I think most of you know. It's part of the reason why I can't stand them and I won't sell anything under their name. And, um, you know, you do with it what you will. But these are fake, so they have to be destroyed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you today. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Minute Show. I'm going to do the Lululemon giveaway in the next video. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that as well. And keep the comments coming. And uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next one.